I'm Heidi Tanner, and I've done River Watch for four years with Mountain Park School, grades seven, eight, um, primarily River Watch with grade eight students over the last four years. We've had two land-based programs and two on the river programs as well. I think it is a phenomenal experience for the kids to actually be able to have that hands-on learning. So they're actually getting to be scientists and you know doing their experiments and they get to see how the city actually deals with wastewater treatment and you know the fact that their river is not just a river, what actually is entailed in the river, how it's designed, how it functions and how it becomes part of the city in which they live. The first year I did this, I think the, my favorite part was actually as much as being on the river was awesome and learning about you know all the different things on the river and how the rivers are formed and where the water comes from. I think my favorite part was the Bonnie Brook treatment plant tour because I didn't realize until afterwards that it's such an extensive process and it's phenomenal because they don't use a single chemical to treat that water and it's all a natural based process and I don't think it is recognized that you know it's so great at what it does and what it's able to do. I think the hands-on learning component, right? You know, you've got kids who you can tell them and tell them and tell them, but until they actually experience or see it or actually do it for themselves, then it, then it starts to make a real connection for them. So it's definitely that kind of connection component through that hands-on experience. I think by the kids actually seeing, you know, their own effects on the river and what the river's being used for, like I think that whole component is really important for them and helps them to, to connect to their environment and, and the city in which they live. So understanding that the things that they put down the sewer drains or if they litter and throw their garbage away or the things they flush down the toilet can affect the, the river and the wildlife within it and all those different species and you know how the Bonnie Park treatment plan is best trying to deal with those those issues and needs so maybe they're becoming a little bit more avid and maybe a bit a bit better consumers and you know maybe more environmental about the things and products that they use in the most recent we went on which was a land-based program and uh, the, the tour guides kind of took us through the Bonnie Brook treatment plant and uh, we were talking about the things that come through the sewer system and uh, you know the kids were given the cards and they were told you know about all the different things that come through the sewer and it was interesting to watch at the end of the trip a lot of the kids were still holding prescription medications and they're like making those connections of well if this is still going back out into the water what's actually happening and making those jumps and leaps into the inquiry based of what is actually really going on you know they're doing such a great job but we still have these issues what can we do as citizens to actually alleviate the issues of those things being pumped back out into our water Being from a, a place that, you know, I grew up next to the water and stuff like that. And uh, I think, you know, I also grew ne up next to the ocean and watching all of that kind of component, you know, where we were in a place where we watched raw sewer be pumped out into the ocean. I think River Watch really kind of allows kids that hands on exposure of being connected to their environment and things that actually directly affect them even if they don't think they do. So they get to see you know how the water is when it first comes out of the mountains and the whole process that takes place, how the treatment actually takes place as far as you know cleaning that water so it can be actually pumped back out into the river again. So you know it's a great program to fund because the kids get so much information and so much knowledge out of just one day of an experience on River Watch. So I think that's just, it's just huge. The amount of experience that these kids get and the amount of knowledge and information is just huge. And I, you can't get that in a classroom. There's no way to get that in the classroom. I don't know if there's another program that offers the same type of things that Riverwatch can. You know, like to be able to actually see, I'm just trying to think. You know, yeah, you can go on a tour of the wastewater treatment plant uh, separately, but you can't get that experience of 
all the connections that kind of take place that you do when you're on that river watch. Like you get to see, you know, yes, this, the, the sewer comes in, but here's the storm pipes, here's the here's the runoffs. Um, you know, you've got the golf course along the lines, so you get to see that component. You get to kind of see more of the tie-ins, and you can't do that in any other program that I know of. So I think that's why it's so important because you need that experience. You need to see it. You need to actually see it and experience in it in order for it to be able to do that.